It appears that President Donald Trump, I'm sorry, former President Donald Trump, I don't get tired of saying that, uh, continues to be banned on Facebook, at least on a temporary nature, uh, as they have kicked the, kicked the can down the road. The oversight board decided to not lift the ban for Trump's role in spreading COVID-19 disinformation, as well as election conspiracies. Uh, and that has, of course, conservatives big mad. I, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, I mean, again, in the decision itself, the board was like, yes, we do. Uh, Facebook does unevenly apply policies to different people and different accounts, but they still voted to uphold the ban, at least for the next few months. Uh, now, that said, uh, I'm going to show you a video of former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows crying about this and promising to be accidentally left wing. Facebook, the oversight board will uphold the ban on Donald Trump. Your reaction? Yeah, it's, it, it's a sad day for America. Hmm. It's a sad day for Facebook, because I can tell you a number of members of Congress are now looking at, do they break up Facebook? Do they make sure that they don't have a monopoly? And I can tell you that it is two different standards, one for Donald Trump and one for a number of other people that are on their sites and, and suggesting that uh, uh, more nefarious things than what the president has been accused of actually go unnoticed often. And so this is a sad day for America, but a sadder day for uh, uh, the, the, the Facebooks of the world who have actually enjoyed a, a very wild, wild west kind of regulatory environment. I can tell you that's going to change. The discussion will happen within hours uh, of this decision on Capitol Hill, just a few, a few blocks from where I am. <laughs> so now he, he further goes on to say, well, it's not just going to be legislation. We're going to work to break them up. Interesting. Uh, but first, I've got more conservative reaction. Um, but it is funny because it, it, it makes you ask, like, wait, do, do conservatives believe in regulation now? Well, well, it may be now only in the fact that it does apply to Donald Trump. Uh, but OK, so now here's uh, Charlie Kirk. In a very much ratioed tweet, uh, here's what he said. The U.S. Supreme Court should overturn the Facebook Oversight Board ruling, which upholds the outlawing of the 45th president of the United States from social media. This is a big tech corporate oligarchy. Without standing, it's gone too far. Enough is enough. Big brain. Big, the, the, the greatest brain. The greatest brain. Getting the Supreme Court to overturn a company's private board, isn't that what conservatives used to be against? And they used to be against this quote-unquote overreach of Government power into private corporations. Gee, I wonder what changed. <laughs> how did they? How did they become accidentally left wing on this? Well, it's when it started affecting them. It's when these companies decided that the rhetoric they were spreading their platforms was dangerous. That stirred people up to go and and do do a little uh, a literal insurrection. So now, ironically. Conservatives are now saying we should break up Facebook. Yes. Yes. Let's break up Facebook. I agree. They are a monopoly. It's true. Yes. They do enforce TOS standards unfairly. They even admit it. Uh, I know a lot of le uh, lefty pages that get shut down uh, or, or throttled. It happens on YouTube all the time. While Fox News, of course, spreads. You got Dan Bongino, Ben Shapiro, uh, those are some of the top pages, by the way, on Facebook. The Daily Wire was reported to be a Facebook fact checker. So a fact checking partner. Uh, and so it, it is interesting. Okay. And it's very weird to see the shift in Republicans uh, from companies should be able to do whatever the hell they want. Uh, how dare you make that bakery bake a gate cake for a couple? Or, uh, and, and now they've turned into... We should force Facebook to platform neo-Nazis. Here's the thing. You don't actually have a constitutional right to a Facebook account. And, and no matter what Charlie Kirk says. Okay. Uh, you're not being silenced if you kicked off for breaking the rules. You can still speak. There's nothing preventing Donald Trump from putting out press releases. In fact, he has been. Uh, okay. Uh, 
He can also still do interviews. He sits here and rants out his front porch. Uh, and so the only thing is he cannot post that stuff on Facebook because Facebook has decided we don't want you on the platform. We think you're bad for the country. It's sort of like being, uh, you know, for me, I, I'm a gamer. So, you know, for me, it's kind of like being banned from a game for cheating. Okay. Or, or, or abusing other players. Okay. Uh, it's a sad day for you. You did uh, sign that terms of service agreement. Uh, now, if you do believe that these platforms are so large and ubiquitous as I do, that they should be included as part of protected speech, let's have that conversation. I'm ready for that conversation. Okay. Um, that said, the way that they operate right now, which is fundamentally broken, uh, but they are a private business and they're actually selling a product. So now you might think, well, wait, what does Facebook sell? Well, here's the thing about Facebook. You're not a customer, you're the product. They're selling you. Uh, and so they sell you to other companies and advertise to you. That's what you, that's what you get from this, okay? Uh, the only way to change that and to actually protect free speech is to make these companies public utilities. Break them up, make them public. That said, that doesn't mean that even if that happens, you can say whatever you want. And this is what you need to understand about the right-wing free speech advocates, okay? What they want under everything, uh, all their bluster about, oh, First Amendment, First Amendment, I care so much about First Amendment. Really, they just want to say the N-word freely without any consequences. It's true. It's true. That's what they want. You know, like the good old days where I could say anything I want. That's why I don't take these right-wing free speech absolutists seriously. Now, from the left, and I do see a lot of good lefty takes on this. Um, they make an argument that, hey, these, these companies still hold a lot of power when it comes to the discourse in this country. And, when they sh and being able to shape public opinion uh, by being able to elevate some sources of news and other, you know, and, and, and hide other or bury other sources of news or opinion or information. And so I get that. Okay. Uh, and I do agree. Uh, and so as far as the system that goes, it really, it's unsustainable as it is. Uh, that said, right-wingers, the right-wing on this issue, even if we sort of agree, like, hey, yeah, we should probably face, uh, you know, break up Facebook. The goals here are very different and for different reasons. And you have to understand that. Because understand that if given the ability to crush left-wing free speech in this country, conservatives won't hesitate. Because they've done it before and will always try to do so when given the chance. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.